I, I get several calls when school starts up about people passing school buses every year. And what we do is we uh, send a, uh, a unit around, and they're investigated, and they're charged. As simple as that. So if you do pass a school bus, and we get it every year, people forget. Drivers caught passing buses or disobeying these signals can receive fines between $500 and $2,000. Mike Lawler has been getting kids to and from school safely for four years and says inpatient drivers are the biggest problem. When you see us slow down, we're making frequent stops, to be aware of our school lights and observe them, please. And it's not just the police who are on the lookout for people not obeying school bus signals and signs. School bus drivers and patrollers are instructed to take down card details, including license plate numbers, and report dangerous driving to the police. Reporting in Aurelia, I'm Jackie Crandall for A News. And with just one weekend left of the summer vacation, students can return to school next week buoyed by the fact that they're doing better. The results are in for tests and reading and writing given to children in grades 3 and 6. And the good news from the Education Quality and Accountability Office, the marks are up. Two-thirds of the students in grade 3 met or exceeded provincial standards. That's up 2%. And in grade 6, 67% of kids made the grade a significant improvement to 6%. And the report says many of the students who didn't pass when they first wrote the test in grade 3 did pass by the time they took the test in sixth grade proof. Educators say the tests are working to help teachers find and fix problems. He's just two steps away from becoming the next Canadian Idol. Drew Wright of Collingwood made it to the final three last night and his fans have been behind him every step of the way. Shauna Shoemaker headed back to his hometown today where Drew Mania has taken over. A well, top three on Canadian Idol is a far